Hey guys, how are you today? I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I am going to be reading from the book of Enoch again today. The Lord has pressed me and he really has put it in my mind that this is something that you guys all need to hear. I have the book right here. And if you'd like to, you can go back on videos because there's several parts. This is going on like, uh, I don't know, maybe part eight. So I forgot to show you. This was my stone of um, flesh that was taken out. It's like a heart, too. If you look at the shape of the stone, and it's so soft and smooth. And this was given to me, and I treasure this so much. So, Father God, I just want to thank you today for your son, Jesus, Yeshua, for sending him to be the Savior of the world. And thank you, Jesus, for sending your Holy Spirit to reside inside of me and all sisters and brothers that are saved, that love you and that are searching for you every single day, that live, live it, not just go once a week to church and um, repent. I know that a lot of people have things to do and everything, but when, when you look at the times we're living in, you guys, this is outrageous. We are in the time that Jesus is going to return. He is coming. So it's just so much to be excited about. Okay? So much to be excited about. So, oh, I first too wanted to tell you guys about the crimson worm. Right now they're harvesting crimson worms. The crimson worm that is spoken of in, let me just grab the Bible. I'm going to read it to you real fast. There goes my Strong's Concordance book dropped. All right, so it's Psalm 22. Wouldn't that be something if I opened up right to Psalm 22? <laughs> okay. My God, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys. I have an ear infection, too. If you could pray, I still have an earache going on. I would really appreciate it if you could pray for me. And Holy Spirit, please heal my ear. And let me finish praying real fast. Father God, please saturate the atmosphere with your glory. Your glory is just. And saturate the atmosphere with your son, Jesus Christ. Your son, Jesus Christ, is so just. Amen. And the Holy Spirit, we love you. All your ways are perfect. And I also want to pray against any counteroffensive weaponry, satanic angels of light. You are rebuked in the name of Jesus Christ. You are not allowed near this home, in this building, in my townhome, throughout the atmosphere, the entire community. I rebuke you out of here in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, Psalm 22. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why are thou so, so far from helping me? And from the words of my, of my roaring, O oh my God, I cry into the daytime, but thou hearest not. And in the night season, and am not silent, but thou art holy. O oh thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel, our fathers trusted in thee, and, and they trusted, and thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee, and were delivered. They trusted in thee, and were not confounded, but I... Am a worm, and no man, a reproach of men, and despised of the people. All they that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip, they shake the head, saying, He trusted on the Lord that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him, seeing he delighted in him. But thou art he that took me out of the womb. Thou didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breasts. I was cast upon thee from the womb. Thou art my God from my mother's belly. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have compassed me. Strong bulls of Bashan have beset me around. Remember that big bull that they had at the in Africa, the what games they were, they had that big bowl and all the priests of Baal were there. Yeah, that's how real this is, you guys. This is real to them. If it's real to them, believe me, it's real. It's all real. They gaped upon me. 
with their mouths as a rat ravening and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted in the midst of my bowels. My strength is dried up like a pot shirt and my tongue cleaveth to my jaws. And thou hast brought me into the dust of death for dogs have compassed me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. I may tell all my bones. They look and stare upon me. They part my garments among them. They cast lots upon my vesture. But be thou not far from me, O Lord. O my strength, haste thee to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, my darling, from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth. For thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorns. Hallelujah. We're going to be riding unicorns when we return to wipe out the demonic army that will be here on the earth. Hybrids that have been changed from human into hybrids. And all the fallen entities, the demonic participants that are involved. Save me from the lion's mouth. For thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorns. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. All ye, the seed of Jacob, glorify him and fear him. All ye, the seed of Israel, for he hath not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted. Neither hath he hid his face from him. But when he cried unto him, he heard. My praise shall be of thee in the great congregation. I will pay my vows before them that fear him. The meek shall eat and be satisfied. They shall praise the Lord that seek him. Your heart shall live forever and ever. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord. And all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee. For the kingdom is the Lord's. And he is the governor among the nations. All they that be fat upon the earth shall eat and worship. All they that go down to the dust shall bow before him. And none can keep alive his own soul. A seed shall serve him. It shall be accounted to the Lord for a generation. They shall come and shall declare his righteousness unto a people that shall be born. That he hath done this. Amen. Okay, so the part about the crimson worm, you guys, it's called the scarlet. It's the Middle Eastern scarlet crimson worm. And this worm is used. They harvest the worm and the high priests use it as a dye. Okay, this worm, they harvest it for the dyes that the high priests garments and part of the tabernacle um, that's set up inside is also this dye that they use as part of these worms, right? Well, the worm itself, this is the little history behind the worm that I can recall. You might want to look it up, but what I'm going to tell you about is absolutely fascinating and beautiful. This particular worm has babies. It When it gets pregnant, it climbs up onto a tree or a piece of wood and it births its babies and it doesn't look like a regular worm you guys it looks more like a sea urchin it's really neat and what it does is it connects it stretches itself around and it connects its tail to its head and it looks like a heart as it's on the tree giving birth it's got a hard shell that protects the babies when the babies are born and for three days after the babies are born for three days, they are fed, the babies are fed off of the mother before the mother dies. The mother dies after three days and the babies go on to live. But the part is about it is that it leaves a stain on the tree, a red stain. And then what did Elijah say? That your sin, that it would be as white as snow and um, something like that along the lines of that. But these white flaky pieces of feathery type snowflakes come off of the tree and fly away after that three days is up. And so I believe that Jesus was re referring to the crimson worm because he birthed a whole family 
of us here, little miniature Jesuses on the planet. And so I'm going to keep this short because it takes forever and ever for my stuff to load onto YouTube. I mean, it can be a 15 minute video and it takes four hours. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to just load this about Psalm 22 and about the crimson worm. You may want to research it a little bit better, but yes, and these priests in Israel use it. They completely use it for their dyes on the clothing that they wear. But see, Jesus wasn't talking anything about that, and they take it and abuse it, in my opinion. So you can look it up, and you'll find out much more than what I just told you. But, you know, it was definitely something that is signifies and symbolizes Jesus because of the fact that the worm dies after three days after it gives birth and it feeds the babies. Oh, it's so incredible. But I love you guys. All blessings and honor and glory and power be unto the Lamb that sits on the throne. Jesus, 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 forever and ever. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later.